Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to talk about, stay with me here for a second, but we're going to talk about, you've been listening to Law of Attraction, you've been listening to it for a long time, okay, Law of Attraction's been around for hundreds of years, uh, but anyway, you've been listening to it for a long time, maybe you have books on it, maybe you listen to stuff every day or every other day, and you know, you're inspired by it, you love it, you love the content, a lot of people's content, just not mine, but um but you doing you putting in the work, okay? You're inspired by it, you get motivated by it, but you're not really getting the results you want or you feel like it's not really working. Like you know the information. Okay, you can repeat the information. You can sit there and say, "Well, Chad, I've heard this stuff hundreds of times, but you're not really getting the results that you want if you're really completely honest with yourself." So that's what we're going to talk about today in this lovely little video. <laughs> I wanted to go live with this video. That's why I laugh. I wanted to go live with this video, but right now my YouTube channel don't qualify uh, because you have to have a thousand subscribers to go live. Um, so I'm kind of waiting for that because I've been wanting to go live, uh, but I kind of been antsy with it. But, um, but how do you like that pig? My piggy in the background right there staring at everybody. Um, but... <laughs> But anyway, that's what we're gonna talk about. And what kind of motivated me for this video and why I kind of want to go live is I had this comment come across one of my YouTube channels, not one of my YouTube channel, my YouTube. And uh, the comment kind of inspired me to do this video. The comment's kind of a little bit rude. Tree, you know, tries to kind of stab me in the heart. Ugh, you know what I mean? But the comment is true. So let me read the comment to you and we'll get started. He says, and to set the premise of this is on YouTube, I posted, it wasn't a video, I posted a picture. Because I, you know, I post shorts, I post long form videos, and I post pictures on YouTube. And one of my pictures, I'm holding up a tablet, and I say, you know, I'm getting around, I'm taking notes, I'm taking notes for video ideas and walkthroughs and stuff like that. So, so he comments on this, on this post, and he says, he says, in your journal, write down how the community you've started to cultivate has already been inspired for what you've been up to, brother. <laughs> so I kind of laugh when he said that. I don't know if you're trying to be funny, rude or what, trying to stab me in the heart when he said that. Uh, but because right now my channel is called, well, it's called my name, Chad Napier, but the premise of the channel is Wealth, Health and Prosperity. So we are going to We'll talk about that in a second, Wealth, Health, and Prosperity. But right now, I've been posting a lot of Law of Attraction, Law of, Vibra law of Vibration, a lot of Neville Goddard stuff, because I would find a lot of his stuff, and, and people post his stuff on YouTube, but they don't clean up the audio, you know? So, you know, so I kind of, I kind of repost it because I clean it up, pretty much. Um, but anyway, I, I clean it up so people can flip and listen to it. And not have to listen to shh in the background. <laughs> but anyway, that's kind of what I've been posting here a lot lately. Law of Attraction, Neville Goddard, Earl Nightingale. And then I do videos as well on Law of Attraction. So, you know, so he says, you know, uh, th this stuff's been around for a long time. You know, people's already heard it. You know, people's been inspired by it. And uh, you're kind of basically in a convoluted and all waters or people already know about the law of attraction. And he's right, you know, and I can take it a lot deeper, a lot, law of attraction, law of vibration, a universal laws, turn off my phone there, has been around for thousands of years, not hundreds, thousands. Because when you really look at history of law of attraction, law of assumption, it all comes from spiritual texts. You know what I mean? Not just the Bible, Every single religion, every single spiritual text has law of attraction inside the text. That's where it really originated from. You know, so you're talking about thousands of years because spiritual text has been around thousands of years as, as far as we know. Okay. Then, then if we really take the pioneers of law of attraction, okay, like Neville Goddard, he was basically the pioneer of law of assumption. You know, there's Earl Nightingale, there's Napoleon Hill, there's Thomas Troward, there's, uh, there's Bob Proctor, okay? All these guys were born in the 1920s, 30s, 40s. Was teaching this stuff since, since the 1920s, maybe a 
maybe a hundred years ago, something like that. So even Bob Proctor would state that this isn't even my information because he, he knew that it all comes from spiritual tax. Okay, nothing's new. Now, how we explain it might, might be new. How I explain it might be a little bit new because I'm using my personal experience. I'm using my personality. I'm using, you know, what I've went through in my life or how I feel that it worked for me, so forth and so forth. But, but, but this information has been around for thousands of years. So he is right. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of a convoluted topic. Uh, a lot of people know about it. But within that, what kind of inspired me to do this video? Because yes, a lot of people know about the law of attraction, whatever you want to call it, law of attraction, law of vibration, universal laws, laws of the universe, God's law, whatever, whatever we want, we want to call it. Are you getting the results that you want? Okay, that's really the question here. And I'll answer the question myself. Are you really getting the results you want? You know all this information, okay? I know all this information, okay? I've been reading, I'm 45, well, I'm actually 47. Um, I mean, I got involved with <clears throat> personal development, not, so, not such law of attraction, but personal development you know, way back when I was 25. Before I was 25, I was a professional athlete in martial arts. So, and I've been in, involved with some sort of personal development if I take my martial arts background since I was 15, okay, when I was 15, I was pretty much into you know, exercise and fitness and health because I was, I was a professional athlete in martial arts and competed professionally. Then that kind of led to, when I was 25, that basically led into business and, you know, I kind of took my personal development background in martial arts and kind of high level training in martial arts and kind of, kind of twisted it into business. So then it, it kind of twisted into into all my health knowledge, into business, if that makes any sense. So I've been involved with law of attraction, personal development, I mean, bare minimum since I was 25, so at least 20 years, 22 years. We put my health and fitness stuff in it, oh my goodness, almost probably 30 years. So, okay, this that's my background. I've been doing this stuff for 30 years. And if I ask myself that question, well, Chad, you know all this knowledge, are you living the life 100%? Are you living a life that you really want? Are you doing exactly what you want? Do you have exactly what you want in all areas of your life? I would have to be honest and say, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I, I'm not. Okay. And you know, I could dig deeper and say, well, why not? You know this information. Okay. You, you know the law of attraction. You know the law of assumption. You know all the little laws. Why isn't it working for you? What's going on? What's happening? Okay. What's happening in my life? Why I'm not manifesting or getting exactly what I want. Okay. And I can try to answer it, but I'm not living the life exactly how I want to live. I don't have exactly a hundred percent what I want, what I want to do and how I want to do it. Okay. That's just being brutally honest. That's just me. And I can only assume that other people are in my boat. Okay. They, they know the knowledge. They, they've been listening to Never Goddard, listening to Law of Attraction, list, listening to other people, Bob Proctor, Thomas Tobert, Earl, Earl Nightingale, and there's many others. Okay. And especially many others on YouTube, but it inspires them just like in his comment, everybody's inspired by it. Okay. It inspires you. It inspires me. It motivates you. It motivates me. But all this inspiration, all this motivation, you're still not, you're still not living the life that you want. Okay. I'm still not living the life that I want. Okay. So what's happening? What's going on? We know this knowledge. Okay. We can repeat it. We can recite it. We can say things. We can sit there and say, well, Chad, you know, I've read Think and Grow Rich. You know, I've read the science of getting rich. You know, I've read, you know, never Goggles books. Okay. I have too. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've, you know, think and grow rich. I've probably read a hundred times at least. You know, I took one year. I took, I mean, honestly, I really did this. I took one year. The only book I read was think and grow rich. I would read it every day, at least a chapter a day. Once I would finish the book, I would just read it over. <laughs> Once I finish, I'll read it over and over and over. I bet you that year I probably read it a hundred times. 
<laughs> one year. Uh, just to implant the knowledge in my head. Okay, and I know it, but I'm not getting the results that I want. So what's happening, what's going on? So we can be inspired by it, we can be motivated by it, but there's, there's something happening, okay? There's something happening in your life. There's something happening in your little bad habits that you have. There's something happening in my life. There's something happening in the little bad habits that Chad has that's keeping me from manifesting exactly what I want, okay? Or it's slowing it down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe it's, maybe it's slowly coming to me, but I, I, pretty much I'm slowing it down. So what's really going on? And that's what we have to understand. That we can know this knowledge. Okay, we can recite it. We can sit there and say, well, I've listened to this before. Okay, like we do in school. Well, I've heard this before. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've done all this before. <laughs> but if we're honest with ourselves, are you living the life that you really want? And I love... Bob Proctor, and I used to go to, not because I used to live in Los Angeles, so when he would come to Los Angeles, I would go to his seminars. So I've been to maybe like four or five of his, of his seminars in person. So I've met him in person uh, uh, several times. I didn't really sit down and have dinner with him or anything, but I met him in person because I've been, I've been to four or five, six of his seminars in person. I've been to a few of them online. But one of the things he said and he went on, he kind of went on the same topic I'm going on today that inspired me by this text. <laughs> that, you know, people know this information. People, people can recite it. People can say, you know, I've read Think and Grow Rich a hundred times like I did. Okay. But they're still not getting results. They're still not living the life they want. And this is what he said that really stuck with me is that, you have to be, the reason why you're not getting what you want, you have to be completely, completely honest with yourself. You have to be 100% honest with yourself. The bottom line is, nobody's honest. Nobody's honest with themselves or about themselves, okay? See, what we end up doing is when we went through, I don't know why, okay, I've done it. I still do it. That when we go through the school system, we've learned to basically tell people what they want to hear. Now, we, we can call that a lie. And when, I'm old, when I get older now, I just call it a flat out lie. Some people don't look at it as a lie, telling people what they want to hear. We can fool other people. Makes sense. We can take advantage of people, scam people, fool other people, have people think we have it all together, but we really don't. Okay, but we can fool others. But what we have to understand is we can't fool God. What we have to understand is we can't fool the universe. We can't fool universal laws. Okay, we can fool others, but we can't fool the universe. We can't fool univer the universal laws, the laws of the universe. That's why we're not getting what we want because we think we can play the system. Okay, how we learned in school. You know, we've learned to give the teacher exactly what, what she wants so we can get an A. We've learned that, oh, I can stay up all night and cram the next day, take the test, I get an A. The next day after, I totally forgot everything I studied because I just crammed at nighttime. I didn't retain anything. So we, we've learned little bad habits as we grew up, went through the school system, went through college or whatnot. We go, we go get a job. We try to do the same thing. Okay, sometimes we're successful with it, with it when we actually have a J-O-B. Okay, we fool our manager. We're, you know, we, we basically basically just want to work very little, just do what we really have to do just to get the job done so we, have, we can fart around at work all day long. Okay, and this changes. And you, if you're an entrepreneur, you might agree with me on this. This changes when you're an entrepreneur. Because when you're an entrepreneur, you figure out really fast that this stuff don't work. <laughs> what I've learned in school, don't flip and work. Cramming all night, getting an A in the morning, it don't work in the entrepreneurial field. It just doesn't work, my friends. Um, and I don't want to go off on an entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial topic, but what we kind of flipping up back to the law of attraction, we have to be honest with ourselves. We have to be 100% brutally honest with ourselves. We're not doing it to another person. 
Okay, we're just sitting back and just brutally being honest with ourselves that what is going on? What are my bad habits? Why, why am I blocking things? Why am I blocking what's manifesting to me? What's really flipping going on? Okay, and I love when Bob Proctor talked about this because he said that's really the number one thing why the law of attraction don't work. Okay, you know the knowledge, okay, Concept, conceptually, you know the knowledge, you can talk it, but you're not getting the results. You're not getting the results because you can't sit down and just be 100% honest with yourself. You can't even be honest with another person. Makes sense? When we talk about relationships, I'm not a relationship master, so I don't confess to be, but, but to be, but again, like most relationships, people lie to each other. You know, you have friendships, you have best friends. We, you're, you're in a, you have a significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever, you're married. Most of the time in these relationships, you lie. Make sense? You, you, you tell baby lies. I mean, you might not tell big lies, okay? But you tell baby lies, okay? Or you tell lies that, that, that you know if you told the truth, it might start an argument, okay? You're not, you're not really brutally honest. Make sense? So your relationship struggles a little bit. So we go around our life, and, and that's what we do. So, and that's really, when we, we look at my channel, Wealth, Health, and Prosperity, I'll kind of flip back to that real quick, that Wealth, Health, and Prosperity is a very broad topic. And I've been neglected my YouTube channel for years. So if you look back on my YouTube channel, you can you go back in the beginning, you can see how much I neglected it. It's been around for a long time, but I've never done anything with YouTube except in the past, like, a month and a half. But this is what I can tell you with Wealth, Health, and Prosperity. Okay, it's a very broad topic. We're going to dive into the piece of pie, having prosperity in all areas of your life. But this is what I can tell you with most people, including myself, is that how you are in one area of your life is exactly how you are in every area of your life. Make sense? If you go to work and you talk about people, you come home, or you go to work, you talk about your husband, you come home and you talk about people at work. I know if you talk about people, well, you talk about people in all areas of your life. If you go to work and lie, well, this is what I know. You lie in all areas of your life. It's bottom line. You know, it's just how it is. You, you're not going to separate the two. That's, that's who we are in all areas of our life. Uh, and, and we only grow with the law of attraction. We only grow when we can really sit down ourselves, not with another person. Okay, I'm talking about ourselves. We're alone. And we really just access our, ourselves, access what's going on, access why things aren't working. Okay, this is why personal development is really easy. Or, or not easy, but really important. I kind of messed up on my word there. That's why personal development is really important. Because no matter, just like the text said, no matter what people know this, they're inspired by it, motivated, motivated, motivated with it. The reason why you have to listen to this stuff over and over again, maybe every day, every other day, because sooner or later, it will get in your subconscious mind. Sooner or later, you'll start thinking about it. And then when you start having bad thoughts, you know, you change them. You catch yourself. Okay, when you start catching yourself, oh, you're like, oh, you know what I mean? You know, you might have negative self-talk. Most of us have negative self-talk. Okay, we catch ourselves and we go back to like I am affirmations. If you go back to I remember when affirmations and stuff like that to kind of correct it. So that's what the whole journey is about. But, you know, it is a journey. Don't beat yourself. Don't beat yourself up over it. But it's really about little habits that what we're doing. And, and I'm talking about little habits of, you know, we've learned this little one up. We, we've learned these from our, our parents from people who who were around us when we were one, two, three, four, five years old. Then we then when we went to school, elementary elementary school. Now all of a sudden, we're getting taught philosophies by a stranger, by a teacher. We're around kids and friends now, so we're learning things from them. Okay, and that's how we grow up with bad habits. Okay, you know I'll give you another example. Like abundance is inside us. Abundance is our birthright. Okay, through all, through all spiritual texts, no matter where you go, abundance is inside you. Abundance is your birthright. P. 
period. So if abundance is inside me, okay, why is it? I'll give you, maybe you've experienced this before. You're, you ever gone out to eat, maybe with a friend, maybe with a group, and it gets ready for the bill, and you kind of hold back a little bit? So mentally, you're holding back. Mentally, you're saying to yourself, ooh, I hope somebody else pays. <laughs> you, you've ever done that? You know what I mean? You kind of slow giving me your card, th thinking like they're going to pay for the meal instead of you. Or you start thinking, are we going to split? Because I don't want to pay for the whole thing. You know, you start being kind of slow with it. Or you, or maybe you're in line. Maybe there's several of you standing there to pay. And you're kind of, you kind of slowly, kind of secretly or try to sneaky, you know, kind of step back away, be the last person in line. And hopefully the, the person in front pays the entire bill. <laughs> Have you ever experienced this? Or is it just me? <laughs> you know what I mean? Am I the stingy one? You know what I mean? But what we have to understand, when we do these little habits like this, this is a really bad habit. I've done it, okay? Sometimes I still do it, okay? Because if you're really abundant and you believe in abundance, abundance is your birthright, why would you be afraid of paying the bill? You know, the bill comes, you just, you know, you reach in your wallet, pull out and throw out your debit card. You don't even, you don't even second guess it. You don't have to pay the whole thing, but you just pull it out and throw it on a table. You don't sit there and start thinking like, oh, is he going to pay or am I? Are we going to split or am I, or what's going on? You know, you, you kind of have that, you, you kind of have that, that kind of poverty consciousness come over you, that scarcity mindset come over you. You know, that's really what it is, that scarcity that, you know, you got to conserve and save. Okay, that's not an abundance mindset. That's not what you would do if if you made twenty grand, twenty thousand a month. You know, you you got to put yourself. If it's about money, you got to put yourself in a mentality of well, if I'm if I make twenty thousand a month, or thirty thousand a month, or whatever it is for you, whatever that number is for you, am I going to behave the way I'm behaving? Makes sense. Am I, am I going to stress out paying my bills? Make sense? Am I going to be like, oh my God, I got to pay my bills this month. Okay. But an abundance mindset, you're just going to happily pay them. You're not going to think twice about it. You just don't pay, let it go, and move on until next month they're due. You're not even think. But how many times do we worry about our bills? Even though we have money to pay them. But we worry about them. That's not an abundance mindset. But you see, I'm throwing out these examples because these are little things that we do that hold us back from manifesting the life that we want. Make sense? You can't, and this is a thing, and I struggle with this too, so we can't have a scarcity mindset and think we're gonna attract to us abundance. We can't have a scarcity mindset and think we're gonna double our yearly salary out of a scarcity mindset. Sooner or later, we, we gotta get rid of that scar scarcity mindset. The way you do it, if you have a scarcity mindset, I know 100% you're doing some of those examples that I just said. Okay, you, you're, you're stressed out over paying bills, even though you got money to do it. When you go out to eat, you're the last one to throw out the card because you're secretly thinking, maybe someone will volunteer and pay for the whole thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, those are just scarcity mindsets. You, you, we, I'm not just saying you, myself, we have to get better at that. That's what's holding us back. These little baby habits that we have, we carry around. Sometimes it's negative self-talk. You know, sometimes people, that's, that, that's, their, that's, their, that's their downfall. They just talk to themselves so negative, okay? That's what you gotta work on if that's you, okay? You gotta listen to things daily and start catching yourself and being honest with yourself and catching yourself and kind of revising your day, re revising what you're telling yourself. Okay, I mean that's basically what we gotta do. Uh, I got another. Wasn't even this one, but I got another comment maybe like a week ago, and it was kind of along the same lines, except it wasn't really rude. <laughs> it was along the same lines that that well, no, I've been trying to, I've been following Never Goddard, I've been doing everything. He, living in the end and imagination. I've been trying to manifest something for seven months, but but it's not coming. 
so it doesn't work. What, what, what's happening? Well, what's happening is sometimes we don't know the gestation period. You know what I mean? Sometimes we don't, we don't know how long things are going to take to become fruitation into your reality until you actually get it. We don't know that, that time frame. Everything has a, gest a gestation period. We don't know that, okay? <clears throat> but what I do know is we can block it. <laughs> you know what I mean? We can slow it down from coming to us. Uh, and, and sometimes I explain, I actually sent like a long email uh, to the person explaining, sometimes when we want something so bad, we're hanging on to it. Make sense? We hang, we're kind of hanging on to it like a death grip. <laughs> we don't want to let it go. And I've done this. I do that. I can, if I'm not, I, I'm in a habit of doing this. I'm hanging on to it. You got to let it go. Okay. Completely let it go. Com completely let go of the how. Okay. And this is something, you know, this is something I'm, ex I'm experiencing now because I've, I'm here. I'm, sh I'm sure if you follow my videos, I'm here in Ohio visiting my mom, my sister, brother-in-law, nephew. My nephew is a senior in high school, so this is his last year. So I'm gonna be here until he graduates. Uh, before that, I lived in Thailand for a year. So I am gonna go back to Thailand. Uh, don't know the exact month yet, maybe June or July, something like that, just because I have to see when the graduation times are and all that jazz. And, uh, but anyway, when I know I'm going back to Thailand, I'm, you know, of course I'm planning for it. Of course I'm saving for it, saving money. And when you save money, what happens is you don't want to spend it. <laughs> you don't want to, you don't want to spend it on yourself. You don't want to spend it on other people. Uh, you don't want, you just don't want to spend it. So you're, you're hanging on to it. And just the other day, I think I did a video on it just the other day. I kind of, I felt it in my body that I'm just, I'm like hanging on to it. I'm hanging on to my savings, like a death grip. And it's, it's causing anxiety in me. And I know just from experience for me doing that, you know, that's going to keep things from manifesting to me because I'm kind of hanging on to it. Like, Oh my God, I can't spend no money. You know, you know what I mean? Besides just letting it go, let it go. Stop controlling the how, let it be. And once you truly not just say, Oh, I said, I'll let it go. When you truly let it go. Okay. There's a difference of truly letting it go. I mean, it's funny how fast, manifesting can be when you truly just let things go when you truly just stop controlling the how things can come to you really really quick um and that's kind of a struggle i i kind of got into it's 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 you know it's easy it's easy to slip back in these bad little habits and you know i have a you know i had another one i slipped into that i the, the kind of the same scenario uh, I have, you know, I have a couple businesses online that make passive income. Then I thought, well, since I'm going back to Thailand, I could get a job and uh, pr pretty much, I mean, double my income, pretty much double income coming in. And so then, but I'm around small towns. So, you know, being around small towns, they're pretty much factory towns. So I went to a temp agency, kind of see what was around. The only place they could put me is in factories. So then I started doing factory work. I never worked in a factory a day in my life. Okay. And I don't want to get in a fact, the whole factory thing. They don't give you breaks. They jip you on all your breaks. Uh, you know, they, they overwork you. You want to think you're overworked. They overwork you to death. They try to work you to death because all they think about is production, production, production. Okay. I hated it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Seriously, I flipping hated it. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I felt my vibration. When you look at the law, law of attraction, the law of vibration, like when I went to work and work, even if I'm only there eight hours, okay, it takes up more eight hours. Uh, I mean, most of the time, by the time I get up and drive there, get ready, get home, it's probably minimum at least 10 hours, 11 hours out of the day. Th that I'm in a sucky mood. I don't want to do it. I don't, you know, I don't want to be there. I never worked in a factory before. It's manual labor, you know, they were, you know, it's not because it's manual labor. It's really because they don't want to give you breaks. They want to jip you on the breaks. And I'm in the United States. Okay. feels like, it, it feels like I'm stepped back to the 1950s. But anyway, like my, I just felt like my vibrations going down. I was like, shoot, I'm like 10 hours a day, 11 hours a day. Like it's something I really don't want to do. And then at the same time, I have that feeling of, well, 
you know, it's double, it's doubling my income. So I'm, I'm hanging on to that money again. I'm tightening that money again. So I kind of, I kind of felt one day I just woke up. It was a couple of days ago. I just woke up. I just felt like, man, you know, kind of manifesting isn't coming to me. Felt like things slowed down. And, uh, I was listening to somebody else and it was just on the topic what I wanted to hear what was I, I was kind of going through and, and, it, and they said, you know, lots of times, you know, when you're in that kind of funk, you know, you're not supposed to be doing it. You, you're kind of ignoring your intuition and so forth and so forth. So, you know, I woke up one day and just quit <laughs> because, you know, it was putting me in a sour mood. It was putting me, you know, and you're in a sour mood for 10 hours a day that, that you might as well call most of your day. Well, that's going to, you, you, you're not going to stop manifesting. You always manifest, but you're going to manifest at that level of vibration. So if I don't like what I'm doing, more things come to me that I don't like. Makes sense. If, if I'm happy and joy, I'm happy doing what I do, I'm doing what I love, then I'm going to manifest at that vibration. More things are going to come to me that I want to do, that I love doing, so forth and so forth. So... I'm giving you a lot of examples and th this video is kind of getting long too. But but my point is, is that no matter how long this information has been around, no matter if it inspires you, no matter if it motivates you, inspiration and motivation is not enough for law of attraction because we really have to be honest with ourselves and look kind of within. And, and in the beginning, not everything's gonna come to you. Sorry, I have a, like a hair floating, like a dog hair floating around in the air, keep on landing on me or something. But, um, but it's, it's, uh, lost my train of thought there. But it's, it's not just about inspiration and motivation, okay? We get inspired all day long, but it's about being honest with yourself and honest enough, and you're not going to notice things right off the bat. Okay, this is going to be a, a daily journey, but all of a sudden you start catching yourself. All of a sudden you start catching your shift of energy. Like you, you go to pay for something and you kind of have that scarcity mindset take over you. Okay, a scarcity mindset, remember, you're, if you're always in that vibration, well, what are you going to attract to you? Well, more poverty stuff come to you. Makes sense. Uh, scarcity is not an abundance mindset. So these type of things kind of can hinder you getting what you want and in the realm of law of assumption, law of attraction. So hopefully this helps. I kind of, you know, it's about 30 minutes now, 32 minutes. So I didn't want to go on for a whole hour, but, uh, I can talk about this. If I'm in a talk in a mood, I can talk about this stuff all day long, but, um, but thanks for, thanks for visiting. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being on the channel. Of course, uh, I can't wait to, to kind of qualify for a uh, YouTube lives because that's something I'm going to kind of throw in there at least once a week, do a live, do a YouTube live. Uh, so I keep on wanting to go live. I wanted to go live on this video if I couldn't, but, um, but hopefully that helps. If you have any questions or anything, comment below. I mean, I answer all my comments, so it's me. It's not somebody else. I mean, at this point, uh, then other than that, my friends, hopefully this helps you and I'll see you in the next video.